Alright, here goes nothing. I think a good thing to do is to compare the pieces. So, Frostlight Trousers. 2200 gold for a pair of uh, Frostlight Trousers. Is this really worth it? I'm not sure. Probably not. Uh, I think Frostlight Gear is worth it if you can spend like 4000 gold plus. These are not even that good. Up to like 5000 gold, they're not even that crazy. They're not even that good at all. These rolls are terrible. So, who in the hell would ever buy anything like this? So, what are you actually paying for when you do, when, you pur when you're purchasing Frostlight Trousers? Well, let's find out. So, Frostlight Trousers, they're a legendary type their cloth 15 armor rating minus one and six agility now what if you did loose trousers so in comparison let's see 398 gold you're getting 15 armor rating minus two as opposed to minus one six agility and you're getting four extra stats and so i mean frostlight the benefit you're getting with it is uh, i guess move speed I mean, it has the same armor rating, has the same agility as legendary but what if we did something like max hp on these loose trousers here Three max HP is 870 gold. Now, if you go to Frostlight, here's what you got. Three max HP is 6,600 gold. And what else are you getting? Okay, you're getting minus one move speed as opposed to minus two move speed. All right, that that's 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 good. But I mean, it's nothing crazy. You're getting five stats as opposed to four. I mean, this has regular interaction speed, debuff duration bonus, buff duration, 870 gold. It's not worth it unless you have a crazy amount of gold. But whatever your specification is, I don't know. What do you want? Power? Physical power, let's see. Physical power, two fist power is 3,000 gold. A uh, pair of loose trousers, how much is two fist power? 500 gold. I'm not sure. I think this Frostlight stuff is a little too hyped up, unless there's something that I'm not seeing. And comment below and let me know if there's something I'm not seeing, you know, because definitely I'd rather pay what I just saw, 500 gold as opposed to 3,000 gold for, for this trash. All you're getting is a move speed benefit by by literally just one. It's just crazy to me. I'm, I'm not sure why this gear is so expensive. Uh, I'm not sure who would buy this gear when you can just buy legendary pair or so much cheaper and get very, very similar benefit so if there's something i'm not seeing please let me know but this is just not worth what it is this is just ridiculous i'm gonna go ahead and just freaking do it anyway i'm gonna go ahead and just wear all frostlight gear frostlight trousers and look i have 9976 gold and it's i'm gonna sell my entire inventory and uh, i don't only have a bunch of things here i also have some stuff on my fighter that i'm also gonna be selling for this video now the thing is is if i fail on this video I am absolutely screwed. Like 1 million percent, I am 100% screwed because I'm going to be literally completely broke. It, with the build that I'm doing, it's kind of hard to die as a ranger unless you get landmine roguet or if you fight a uh, barbarian who has iron will because then your forceful shot will not work with a barbarian who has iron will. I guess let's, I'm just going to purchase the cheapest frostlight gear because I don't have the money to spend 10k per freaking piece, man. Who does? Probably 0.1% of the population. Well, 2,200 gold. Frostlight trousers. All right. How about the uh, Frostlight? I, some people probably think this is such a bad idea, but I don't know. This might be... This is kind of fun. 1,000 gold. Okay, that's not bad for the Frost... But for the Lightfoot boots. But let's see the move speed bonus. How much are we going for? 1% move speed bonus for 2,600 gold, huh? How about uh, move speed add? 4,799 gold. It's just so ridiculous. Again, we can we can go ahead and compare. 4,799 gold for three additional move speed, pretty much. Okay. Look, you got eight armor rating, 14 move speed, and three additional move speed. Lightfoot boots, eight armor rating, 13 move speed, as opposed to 14, and three additional move speed for 988 gold. It's just so crazy, man. Like, what the hell is this? I hope I'm not missing something because this this is really this is just crazy how how the prices are like that. Am I missing anything? What am I missing? Eight armor rating, thirteen move speed, three additional move speed. Eight armor rating, fourteen move speed, three additional move speed. Okay, yes, I see the luck and I see the memory capacity bonus and I see everything else, but they're just they're like not necessary, you know? They're not necessary stats to justify this price. Anyways. Let's get back to the uh, the painful part of just purchasing this shite. 2,400 gold, or I could spend 1,000 gold and not get anything additional, but I think move speed is just so damn important. So I'll, I'll bite the bullet and I'll spend high on it. Okay, let's go to take a look. This actually looks pretty sick. Oh my god, this is such a bad idea for a video. Frostlight Warden outfit? Holy, alright, whatever. There you go. Good lord. I mean, the move speed is crazy, dude. <laughs> all right, yeah, the move speed is crazy. It is. But before I waste all my gold, let me go ahead and list some stuff. And I'll make it instant for you guys so I don't bore you to death. Here's what we got so far. Okay, we went up to 3k. Let's check the other character. What do we got? Nice. 
3600 for now. Okay, maybe we can buy another piece. How about the, uh, the ranger hood? Frost light hood. Oh my god. All right. Uh, riveted gloves? Frost light riveted gloves. Okay, that's way better. Wait, they have to be true damage. Oh my. All right, we're skipping out on the true damage. Thousand gold? Doable. Uh, what's next? Frost light cloak. What do we got here? Do 3,000 gold? Okay. All right, let's go back to listing. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here. There we go. I mean, these are pretty cheap sells. So we have 27 now. Let's see how much we got. Good lord, save us today. 4,600 gold on the other character. This is so painful, dude. We can buy another piece. As a matter of freaking fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to speed up the damn process of this video. This is uh, actually going to be a very painful thing, too. Old coin bag. You know what? As a solo player, man, as a solo freaking player, you don't really need much. You really don't. I should have listed that. That's 49.90. There you go. Okay, whatever. All right. Now we got 10,000 gold. Let's buy our last two pieces of Frostlight bullshit. Frostlight hood. <laughs> 4,200 gold. All right. And uh, cloak. Frostlight cloak. Decent. Cool. The pain is over. And it's the gear is so bad, dude. I mean, we're max move speed, but the gear is just so bad. I mean, we got 25 damage reduction, zero power bonus, so the survival bow is going to slap. We have no true damage on either of these, so we're going to have to really make up for it over here. And we're going to need as much true damage as possible. So a Frost Amulet Legendary. What do we got? 866. I mean, this is just going to end poorly. Like, holy, this is going to end terribly, man. I can already see what's about to happen. It's, it's not going to be good. If I get landmined, I'm dead in literally two hits, man. I got to play, like, the room in every scenario. How about legendary? This is so crazy, bro. This is so crazy. Big time going to need HP. Oh, we're going to get both of these. Hundred and twenty HP. Okay, that's a big help. I have this legendary survival bow, but I think I need to purchase a better one. So let's go ahead and sell a little more. Got some more things that sold on the fighter. Well, one extra thing that sold on the fighter. There we go. Fourteen hundred gold. Now we can buy uh, a survival bow, epic survival bow with max HP, weapon damage. If we can get just pure max HP rolls, that'd be great. Gotta be two additional weapon damage though. That's really good. Wait a second. I need a freaking Frostlight Spear. How much do these freaking things cost, man? Please don't be in the 4,000s. Okay, 2,500 gold, that's easy. I can make 2,500 gold real fast. Let's go ahead and do it. Honestly, Ring of Quickness sells very quickly. <laughs> get it? Ring of Quickness. <laughs> oh man, if I die, this is going to be such a disaster of a video. Okay, we got 200 gold on the fighter. Let's go back to the ranger. What do we got here? Decent. Come on. We're not quite there yet. Always, these move speed boots tend to sell very well. All right, here we go. Please be enough. It is enough. Let's go. Let's buy a spear. Frostlight spear. 2,500 gold. Okay. There we go. And that wasn't so bad. All right. That was absolutely terrible. I'm not going to lie. That was just absolutely terrible. Goblin Caves is here. So let's, uh, let's, let's just start this. Let's just start the suffering. I already know it's going to end poorly. Jokes aside. I, I believe in, I believe in the kit. I believe in it. But there's just no way in hell I'm going to that dungeon without potion of protection. That's for damn sure. I mean, we're maxed out move speed. We'll do a stat check when we get in the dungeon. I just want to get in the game. I'm so glad the buckler sold because I want to do high roller. All right. I think I'm ready. Just a surgical kit. Okay. I'm ready. One more. Here we go. All right. So we are max move speed. 100 with your, with your weapons out, dude. That's crazy. 
Yeah, this is t absolutely terrible. Everyone's gonna be checking out my gear. I'm max move speed, 110%. This is insane. I'm screwed, bro. I'm actually screwed, dude. This is not good, bro. The likelihood of these people teaming on me is pretty damn high. But uh, we know we're going to give it our best. We're going to try our best. I mean, we're maxed out move speed. I mean, we've had move speed this crazy with kits that are not worth as much as we just spent. But uh, for the aesthetic, for the vibe, uh, for the uh, for the handsome title, let's go ahead and do a full Frostlight gear. See how it goes, man. I mean, it's nothing special. It's nothing different. But uh, I guess uh, this is my first time wearing almost all legendary gear, so this is kind of nutty. 128 uh, HP with your weapons out. 100 move speed with your weapons out. Pretty crazy. 25 reduction. And yeah, let's give this a go, dude. I'm kind of scared, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, we got two teamers in mid. It's a rogue and a warlock. And uh, we got a ranger right here. That ranger should have used the shotgun way earlier, but here's the teamers right here. You got that warlock, BOC warlock, pretty juicy warlock, uh, along with a uh, sort of a stock armored rogue. Yeah, these guys, they saw me in the lobby. Nice. All right, the rogue's on my left. Pretty much, I gotta get out of here. It's kind of hard to fight two people at once uh, with a ranger. I'm surprised this dude is. I'm surprised he got through the door that quickly. What the hell? Yeah, they're both here. I think the rope's on the left. Yeah, that's the only downside, wearing, uh, some pretty fancy gear. You're pretty much gonna get the whole lobby teaming on you for the gear, because I'm literally wearing a gear set worth, like, 20, 30k, right? But, like, I get it, but it's, it's just really stupid. Oh, he's 1 HP, dude. And there's the rogue on the right. The rogue just went invisible, so I'm not gonna go in that vicinity. Yeah, there he is. Right on the right. Yeah, the Warlock's gone because he has to heal, so now we can just deal with the Rogue. Go ahead and get a heal off. Yeah, I'm not going to chase him. His move speed is just too quick. And now the uh, the Warlock's back, probably full HP. I mean, he's doing BOC Warlock. I mean, that tells you that he just can't play any other class, right? At least with Ranger, he actually got a freaking aim. Only us Ranger mains know that playing Ranger is no walk in the park. Hopefully they don't see it. I'm just gonna keep running. Uh, that was the previous ranger's trap. That was not my trap. My ego is saved. It wasn't my trap. I'm gonna just keep running. I gotta try to get them one by one. I can't fight them both at once. It's too risky. Oh, no. Okay. That's good. If it's just him, I can take him out easily, bro. But if it's a rogue just right behind him and he's trying to, you know, he's trying to double team, it's a different story, but not entirely sure where that rogue went. But I think it's just him. Oh, what the heck? His BOC did, like, nothing. He thinks I'm low, bro. Wait, he's low. He's like 1 HP, probably. If he did not commit, he must be 1 HP. Oh my god, get wrecked, dude. Get freaking wrecked, bro. 
We've got a PDR fire with a longbow. Pretty scary. Either that's a longbow or a curve bow. By the way, I gotta get him to put that bow away. So I'm gonna push him a little. There you go. Man, he's got to stack way more move speed than that. We're in the move speed meta, bro. If you don't have at least 106% move speed in the caves, it's most likely going to end badly. He's looking okay. Nothing crazy. I'll let him have it back. Blueberry fighter. Full blueberry fighter in here. Got some pretty juicy stuff on. Cloak of Darkness, true damage. Couple good rings. He's got that survival bow. We gotta make him put it away. There you go. Now, if I were this guy, I would just take out the bow and just start shooting. But he keeps chasing. His only chance is to really battle me with that bow. Because his move speed is just way too slow. There you go. Pretty juicy. Not bad, dude. Let's freaking go. Got a warlock. He brought a bunch of NPCs with him. I think he's a BOC Phantomized Warlock. Oh man, I wanted, to, I wanted him to go in. But it's not, okay. There we go! Kinda juicy. Not bad. Stuff is alright. All right, so I'm trying normals. I get recommended to try normals a lot. This guy is, this guy is juicy. I think you guys are right about the PvP normals. This is where all the juice is. This guy has a lot of legendaries on. Traps on the left. Oh man, he didn't step in it. I miss. Holy. Now, he must be doing so much damage with that stab, dude. He freaking threw a drum. Hopefully he gets caught here. Keep jumping, keep jumping. Easy, bro. <coughs> Clerics can get out of trap super easy. We hit him three times there. Let's freaking go! Nice, dude. Let's freaking go! Is that a barbarian in there? Heavy boot barbarian? That was a longsword user. Pretty easy fight for rangers. Nice parry. If I were him, I'd be using that crossbow, dude. Now, nowadays, you gotta carry a bow as a fighter. You gotta carry a bow. I miss every shot. Alright, I got traps. Uh, GG! Got a barbarian here, but he does not have iron will. And he's very juicy, man. His boots alone are worth like 3k. He's got max move speed rolls on those boots. We used forceful shot there, so he could not close the door.
He's probably pretty low. Hit him there. Hit him again. He's literally one HP. Oh, he's dead. He died to mobs. So let's freaking go, dude. All right, look at these freaking boots, dude. Crazy. Hell yeah. We got a fighter over here. He keeps using VOIP. He doesn't want me to kill him. Go the f away. I mean, I paid to get in this lobby, you know what I mean? It's high roller. If you're going to be crying in high roller... I don't know what to tell you. Go away, dude. He's got golden gauntlets. I want those gauntlets, bro. Go away. Go away. Stop. What is wrong with you? High roller, what do you expect, man? All I want is those golden gloves, bro. Yeah. All right, yeah, that, that's it for me. I think I'm going to go ahead and just resell this kit. Luckily, we haven't died with it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just resell it. I think we got enough kills with it. It sort of feels like you have a little more than 110%. Maybe it's like, maybe this thing isn't capped after all, but it probably is capped. I don't know. Definitely the huge difference that I noticed was with your weapon out, you had a lot more move speed. Like on a regular kit, I'd have like 97 move speed with the weapons out. On this kit, I had like 100% move speed with the weapons out. And this is minus 36. And a regular spear is like, I think it's minus 40. Yeah, minus 40. 40. So it is really good in terms of move speed, but even at base price, this gear is way too overpriced. It's cool to uh, to use to like intimidate people, but it's definitely I think I think uh, they gotta dumb down the prices, man, because uh, these are these are cool and all, but it's just not worth what I spent. That's for sure. I can I mean I, I work kits that are that, that have this amount of move speed, and I spend way less, man. I think it was a great time. It was really fun wearing this gear. You definitely get noticed a lot more in the dungeon. The problem with it is uh, there's a lot of teaming that goes on. People try to team on you. I mean, I would even consider this gear Biss. It's just, it's cool looking gear. It's cool gear. You can just get all legendaries and it'll be very, very similar to this. So I don't know what they have to do to uh, to make this more worth it. Uh, comment below. Let me uh, let me know what you think though. I guess we'll go ahead and just start selling some of the things that we earned. I think I'll just hold on to this because the aesthetic of it is really cool. I, I actually really do like it. Maybe the, uh, the price and value will go up significantly higher too later on. So uh, maybe this is a good investment. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I just don't know who in their right mind would actually purchase something like this. Like it's all just very bad gear. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get selling. I'm going to start with these heavy boots. These are uh, the boots we got off the Barbarian. Very, very expensive looking boots. All right, so these are going for around 4,000 gold. If this won't go, like, I'm not sure if, you know, if I'm if it's worth listing the price of this expensive to see if it would go. Let's take the, let's take Vigor off of it. I think uh, around 3,000 gold, probably, this would sell. Just to be safe, I'm going to list it at 27.99. I'm going to go ahead and quick sell this Ring of Wisdom. Hopefully, uh, it'll go pretty quickly because I'm kind of running low on gold to uh, to even list the fee. So, 485 for just the standard one. It's going for around 499 Let's see if this will go very quickly. We just need the gold so that we can uh, continue listing things. 469 we'll do 399 for a good sell. I would say 420 this will probably go for. Additional damage Ring of Resolve. Let's go ahead and check those out. Go for around $1.80. Okay. I mean, true damage neck of peace. That was you're going for around 600 gold for true damage neck of peace. Pretty cool. We'll do uh, probably 4.99. The two agility and eight armor rating on the uh, cobalt trousers. I mean, cobalt templar armor. Just two agility in general. Let's see how much it goes for. 3.99. You add some armor rating on it. it goes for around a thousand gold. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Well, this is uh, 600. Shoes of darkness with additional move speed. Do these even sell? Additional move speed. Yeah, these are terrible. Oh, this is a Viking Helm. It's got two strength, two dexterity, and damage bonus. Let's see. Yeah, I would say around uh, eight ninety nine. Three magic Grimmy rings. Around five forty nine. Four ninety nine for this one. And uh, this one has action speed and fist power. This one's actually complete bis Grim smile. Really good. Let's just go ahead and see how much power is on it. It was around six hundred and fifty gold. And then you add some max HP. Yeah, I'd say this ring's probably worth around a thousand gold. We'll do nine ninety nine for this. I'm actually glad I didn't lose this kit because I can just resell it and get most of my money back and uh i'm gonna have to go ahead and buy 
thing. I'm going to have to go ahead and repurchase my gold coin bags. Because uh, definitely, well, you know, selling all this stuff, I'm definitely going to need a lot more space. It was scary to uh, to wear this gear. It really was. Uh, it's not worth it, in my opinion. Maybe it's this expensive because it's hard to get. I don't know. Maybe you got to go. I, I actually don't know. I, I, the only map I play is Goblin Caves. I'm uneducated on the Frost Caverns and the... Ruins Forgotten Castle. So, uh, somebody let me know what the hype is about this gear and why it's so expensive. It's even with the trashiest stats. I mean, I can get the same amount of move speed with a kit that's worth way, way less. So, comment below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.